Wait, what happened to Cass? Did they crash or something? We're gonna <laughs> win this race. Okay, so we're going to France. This is Cannes, and this is the track where Castronex <laughs> got his championship. It was quite an intense race. I was actually engineering two drivers here at once, so I couldn't watch the fight for the lead and the championship. But I could actually see Castronex spin, go behind the drivers I was engineering, and like make up 16 seconds to finish in P2 to actually get the championship win which is completely insane I really highly suggest you go watch the highlights for that race when they release them or just watch the full race replay on the Ion Racing channel by the way big shout out to Castrionics for being in this video guys if you want to check out his channel I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description but yeah let's see how well we do against him in the track where he won his actual championship I'm not hopeful we're gonna do well against him but I actually enjoy enjoy this track very much I've played on it during the free practice during the actual league and I didn't do too bad my time wasn't the best but in that current session I finished like P12 or something which I'm very happy uh, about considering my level but yeah let's see how well we can do in this game okay so we're gonna do one lap without attack mode and then the next lap we're gonna go on attack mode okay so just a small tip for you guys the slipstream on this track is actually quite OP so make sure to stay behind someone on the long back straight and uh, try to get the slipstream for them because it will heavily help your times around this track and yeah definitely give you more speed okay so we did a 123 that's not the best lap possible but let's get attack mode now and try to do a very decent hot lap i wonder how well we can do i just want to get a three star in this car as i hit the inside wall of course but yeah all i want to do is get a three star before we start the race oh a small tip for this corner or hairpin you don't want to go all the way to the right there before turning left or at least that's what Dakir and uh, Capitan Bo told me they're very good uh, Formula E drivers and F1 drivers but that's what they told me for that corner you shouldn't go oh what I just hit the wall with the inside I just hit the inside wall with the front uh, the rear tire I think that just I just did a full-on 360 but yeah for that hairpin I, I was talking about try to not go all the way to the right because you just waste time and it's a hairpin I mean we I already made a video about this track with Dak here and the Formula 1 cars and most of the racing lines actually apply to this game but yeah let's try to do a good hot lap now I just got a decent run in there uh, I stopped so I can get a decent entry in that corner but we have enough attack mode to do a full lap so for this first corner Capitan told me you can go on the sausage curb it's fine so you don't waste too much time because the suspension is very stiff on these cars so it doesn't affect your car too much you can go through this chicane full throttle just align it perfectly so you don't mess up too much and here you can go all the way here and then break and take that very close to the inside and yeah just go through there Try to chase here smoothly, don't lose too much speed. We did a purple first sector against Castrionix, which is quite impressive. Impressive. Okay, steer very smoothly through here. I let go of the throttle there, but sometimes you don't need to let go of the throttle. Okay, we just did two purple sectors. I wonder how good this lap is. You break here a bit early, not too early. You just try to aim it perfectly so you're close to that outside wall, but don't actually hit it. And for here, you go through the inside and uh, try to get a decent exit so you get a decent run in outside from that corner here you need to line up your car perfectly avoid touching the inside and don't go into the pits like Dak here did in the f1 race i'm sorry Dak. and that's gonna be let's see a 110.9 okay it's very close to three stars but it's a two star which is fine i guess but castrionics just went on a purple sector one and i believe he's gonna be yep he's on a purple sector two i think we're about to get our uh fastest time annihilated and i don't even think he upgraded his car what was i thinking racing against a championship winner in a track where he won his championship <laughs> but yeah let's see what kind of lap time he can actually get uh 109 point 
zero. That's one. That's like two seconds better than me. Oh, well, I wonder if we can get like close to him if we upgrade our car or something because he's obviously too quick. But yeah, this is definitely a very good game. You guys should definitely check it out if you haven't played it already. It's made by the same people who made Ion Formula Race in 2020. So if you liked that game and maybe you like Formula E cars more, this is the perfect game for you. But if you don't like Formula E cars, just give it a chance and see if you like the driving style of the cars. It's a very well made game. Oh, by the way, guys, I was considering doing a video where I drive with the mouse and IFR. Let me know if you guys want to see me trying to drive with the mouse. I'm very bad with mouse controls, so I don't think I have a chance at doing well. Okay, we have about 10 seconds until the race starts. Okay, let's get ready. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos and you want to support me and, and encourage me to pump out more videos, make sure you hit the like button and comment down below what kind of videos you want. And yeah, okay, let's click join race. Okay, we joined the race. I hope we're P1. I really hope we're... Okay, we're P2. Why did... Who is that? Sroch... Cool. Okay, so Sroch Cool is P1. Uh, we're P2. But wait, how does he have like a race number? What is this? S3, season three. I don't know what that means. How does he have that? Like, it's there's two box. There's box here, and I don't know what that's supposed to be. Okay, well, whatever that is, I'm not quite sure. Okay, the race is about to start. We need to start revving up our engine. So this race is gonna be six laps because the track is quite short. Okay, five lights. Okay, lights out. Okay, we got a decent start. We have the best line starting from there so I'm not too uh, sad about um, starting from P2 but okay let's try to get a good entry into this corner I don't want to mess up my race at the start I want to have a chance against the, these guys okay let's take attack mode right now and leave the second one for later but yeah, let's see how well we can do with attack mode. Okay, Castrionix is on attack mode as well. I just saw that. We hit the inside wall there a little bit and it almost made a spin. But I kind of same. it. Okay, that's Castrionix passing us right now. Oh no. Why did I break there? I just lost so much time. Let's try to get the slipstream from him. He's running away because he got a very good entry into that corner. So I don't think we're going to be able to catch up. Uh, he's doing too well. Castrionix is going very fast. Okay, let's see if we can just pass the other uh, e-spirits they're not on attack mode so it shouldn't be too hard to pass them but i'm having a hard time okay we got a good entry into that corner so we're gonna be able to pass them but i don't think we're gonna be able to get the slipstream from castrionics which is unfortunate but let's try to this this corner perfectly i just don't want to lose too much time no i'm spinning i'm losing time okay that dude is going on attack mode now he's on it but yeah the guy in p4 is already 19 seconds behind so we shouldn't be too worried about not getting a podium position because the guys behind are very far behind so we shouldn't worry about them for now of course and there's someone going in reverse that actually scared me i thought someone was going to hit me okay but we're not too far from castronics we're about like four seconds behind maybe five seconds after he finishes the lap which is fine i'm not too worried about trying to beat an uh, a championship winner okay so castronics just went on attack mode again again i'm gonna leave my my other attack mode to the end so i'm just gonna try to uh, do well with right now without attack mode and maybe catch up a little bit so when we have attack mode we actually have a better chance but currently we're only three seconds behind castrionics like, oh the lead changed the other dude is p1 now and castrionics is about four tenths behind but uh, castrionics is on attack mode the other dude just ran out of attack mode so castrionics should be back in the lead soon i just want to be prepared so the next time i get attack mode i don't actually like uh, waste it i want to get the most out of it okay we're 4.3 seconds behind let's see if it changes we're 6.3 seconds behind I, th I think i'm doing very well but 6.3 seconds oh my god we almost spun there oh no we just lost a bunch of time okay let's go on attack mode and try uh, to recover the time we lost and maybe gain some time so we can get a better position but the people behind there's someone 50 seconds uh 57 seconds be, 60 seconds behind us okay yeah we're guaranteed a podium position but we're not guaranteed top one or top two so let's try to catch up to them oh wait the other dude actually s still has another uh attack mode wait where is wait where is wh why does it say i passed castronics what happened now did he get like another pit limiter wait huh I don't know what happened to him. He got like a purple sector one and then he disappeared. 
I'm not sure what's actually happening. We need to check back after the race. Who's that I just passed? Is that the dude who's in P1? Wait, no, hold on, wait, yeah, that's the leader. Yeah, cause I was trying to say there's two, only two e-spirits and the, yeah, what? Why is Castronix 32 seconds behind? Did he just get the same bug again? And I think the as other e-spirit just spun by crashing into the inside wall. Okay, we need to make this count and actually win the race now. We're three seconds ahead and we have attack mode. Let's try to not waste it and gain as much time as possible. So we have the best chance of winning. Oh my god, I can't believe what just happened. That was such a big turn of events. Okay. Okay, we ran out of attack mode, but uh, but the other dude just ran out of attack mode too. So as long as we can stay consistent and not mess up our race like they did, I think we should be fine with winning this race against an actual pro championship winner. I'm so tired of winning against championship winners. We beat Dak here in one of my previous videos because he crashed out. We just beat Castronix twice because, well, first of all, he had a bug, which wasn't his fault. And now he might have had a bug again or maybe crashed out which shouldn't be his fault but this is quite fun <laughs> i really enjoy winning i hope they're not letting me win because i'm recording or something but yeah this is the final lap the dude okay he's 1.6 seconds behind us he's actually catching up so we need to actually try our best okay he's 1.4 seconds behind he has the fastest lap so he obviously has very decent pace and he's actually catching up to us right now okay we got a very decent entry into that corner let's see if we can do this perfectly and keep our lead oh my god this is actually very intense no oh my god we almost spun there but we lost a lot of time i hit the inside wall and we lost a bunch of time there okay let's try to make it up oh no the f oh no the finish is gonna be so close we had such a decent lead and i just messed it up are you serious okay let's try to do this perfectly oh my god i hope he oh no this is so close i'm not sure because it could be vision lag let's see who wins oh we won we won by two tenths 1.5 chance oh my god that was so close i can't believe we won by such a margin i obviously had luck on my side but that was such a close margin i can't believe it this was actually so fun but yeah i think that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications it would really help me and make sure to also hit the like button if you enjoy these types of videos and please comment down below what kind of videos you want to see and yeah i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye